Hey makers, John here. Today, we're diving into the world of Fallout with a super exciting project. We'll be 3D printing our very own Stimpak. We're using this incredible Stimpak model created by Ferran 3D, which you can find on makerworld.com. Big thanks to Ferran 3D for this awesome design. We're using PLA filament for this print. 15% infill and 0.16 layer height seems good for this model. Supports is only needed for the main piece. Total print time is about four hours. And just like that, our Stimpak model is ready. Now, let's refine it for that perfect finish. To start off, I'm carefully removing any remaining support structures. I'm taking my time on this step to prevent damaging the model. Before I sand the pieces, I'm using this file to clean up the rough edges. This will scrape away any last small bits of supports. We're going to smooth out those layer lines and rough edges to give our stim pack a professional look. Remember, patience is key in this step. I'm starting off with a 180 grit. By cutting the paper into smaller pieces, I can get a better grip and I can get into the edges easier. Also, I'm not wasting any sandpaper. Time to move up to a 320 grit. This will make the pieces much smoother and ready for priming. All right, the sanding process is done. Now let's test fit all the pieces before we prime it. The model is designed so you can just screw every piece together. Perfect for beginners at 3D printing and making. This is already starting to look really cool, but we need some paint. Let's prep the model for priming. I'm masking of the measuring device, since I won't be needing much paint here. I'm also covering the threads. Leave a like if you enjoy the video. Feel free to give any feedback in the comments. Now we can prime the pieces. I'm using this gray spray filler. A thin single coat would be fine, since I won't be sanding it more before painting it. Priming is done. Let's inspect the pieces before we paint. Time to give this stim pack a metallic silver paint.
The metallic color came out really good, I think. Next, we have to remove the masking tape and get the model ready for my favorite step, the weathering. Alright, time to screw the pieces together and start weathering. For weathering the model, I'm using different colors of acrylic paint, lightly going over the model with this foam brush. I don't want much paint on the model, so I'm going over with a rug to clean it up. I'm really taking my time with this step. It's fun and it's going to look good. The model is taking shape. Time to do the finishing touches by adding a tiny glass file inside the tube and add the wires from the top. Let's fill this file up with some fake blood. I forgot to record this, but I just glued the file to the needle piece. For the wires on top, I'm just using some old network cables. Here I'm just gluing the wire to the top and the middle part. All right, the model's done. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Again, huge thanks to Farron 3 d for making this awesome model and letting me showcase it. Hopefully you got some inspiration for your next projects. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.